Hey, what's going on, family and friends? Y'all see, I'm getting ready to wash and rinse. That's what I'm about to get ready to do. I'm about to get ready to wash my hair, and I'm about to get ready to rinse to you guys. Okay. And I know this video ain't gonna have no type of structure, but it's all right. I wanna um rant to you guys today just a little bit um i'm mad with amazon right now <clears throat> and i want you guys to tell me am i being overly um extra or dram dramatic about this situation so yeah my hair wash before i get into my rant um my hair wash process is gonna be pretty much the same but this time i am definitely going to start by as you see now i have my hair station in four sections i'm gonna detangle my hair first i seen somebody do the hair wash process and i was like you know what it is smarter to detangle your hair out before you shampoo and all that good stuff so i'm gonna detangle my hair got my spray bottle y'all see um to get my hair detangled out i'm gonna i got some mayo some avocado mayo in the bowl i'm gonna place on my hair so i can get myself a good um treatment and then I'm gonna um, let it sit, probably about 30 to an hour, maybe just depending. And then I'm gonna shampoo and do like you see it um, from the last video. So yeah, I won't take y'all through all that in this video. I'm just, I just kind of wanna detangle and rinse while I'm doing that. But anyway, um, Amazon, y'all. I love Amazon. Okay. I love them. I'm always on there buying and purchasing stuff just like many of us, right? So your girl has just now got to where hair companies are reaching out to me. Yes, you know, okay. You know, finally we in a, we in a number. And seriously, y'all, um, like they say, all you have to do is just start posting hair reviews. If you start posting hair reviews, hair tutorials, etc., they find you. Okay, I don't know how they do it, but they do it. They find you, and they um they message you. Um, now I've been getting a lot of. I've been getting um I started my own separate email like they say start your own different email from your personal email so i did that and i placed it on my videos all my videos i do thus far i always place that email so anyone can get in contact with me about you know any kind of type of inquiries about um business collaborations etc if you just want to ask me um stuff about the videos i post i always post my email so they contact me through even via email and um a couple of them have been reaching out to me through instagram as well i've been getting um companies reaching out from instagram so i have been trying to be a little more consistent as i can to post pictures and when i post um pictures on instagram i try to make sure i tag like crazy you know hair tags and the company if if they have some a lot of them don't some of them don't have instagram some of them do but for the ones that do or i just try to make sure my keywords are reaching to where you know, when they do their searches, I don't know how they find us on Instagram. I guess they do keyword searches. I don't know what they do, y'all. But anyway. Okay. You know, a lot of the companies are trying to get, you know, and it may be newer companies or growing companies or whatever. A lot of them will reach out to the YouTubers and, you know, ask about, you know, sending hair to do a review. Most of them want those reviews on Amazon because they're trying to establish their stuff and grow their stuff on Amazon. So, okay. You know, of course, who doesn't want to receive free hair? Especially if it's going to be about something where you don't know that until you get it. But still, your girl likes hair, period. Okay? And if I can get it sponsored and stint, come on, come on with it. Let's do it. 
you know, that that helped me from spending all my coin. Now, granted, if it's a wig that I want and then I gotta send it, I'm gonna get it, okay? I'm gonna get what I want with my coin when I need to get it and when I can get it, okay? So, <clears throat> Amazon come, I recently did two reviews that I wrote this on um, several girls that review hair or did videos about how to get free hair and stuff because i was writing them because this upset me y'all amazon recently i had amazon to take down two of my hair reviews i recently posted they posted the hair reviews they posted it at first when i first put the um you know once they approved it whoever approved they um reviews and stuff over there they posted it then they took it down and i went back and tried to see could i go to the review or whatever they had done banned me from putting a review back up there they said something about um i couldn't post a review from this account get in contact with the help community or whatever the email they have up there and i'm like what now, the only reason why I would think they did that to me was because I did put a disclaimer in the first hair review I put up there because the hair was sent to me. I put a disclaimer and told them, you know, hair was sent, blah, 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 but the opinions and feelings are mine, you know. <sighs> That's the only reason why I could think they took my reviews out. Not only did they take that review down, but they also took the other review, which I purchased with my own coin. Okay, that had nothing to do with a company sending me. I actually purchased that one um, a month before I even got this hair. They just started reaching out to me, okay? Let's be clear. <clears throat> the company's one reaching out to you, girl. They just not started reaching out to me, um, trying to send me some hair. So Amazon, I was, you know, I'm upset with that. I've been calling them every day for the past two days. I have sent the email, I have sent two emails to the email that they put up there. I haven't got a response back. I have called two days. They claim, they put an email, they say wait 24 to 48 hours. I haven't got a response yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep calling them and keep making them send emails and give me some understanding to why you took my reviews down because when it wasn't like I was lying to the people okay I was I was being very truthful if anything I was being too truthful okay because I put that disclaimer up there now the only reason why I did that is because I seen a video on here where a lady was saying when you receive stuff from companies you need to make sure you put a disclaimer on if um something is sent to you when you're writing your reviews and i was like oh okay you know because like i said i'm just now getting to where they are sending me hair so i was like oh you know i don't know what the correct way is you know so i was like let me let me put a disclaimer on it because i don't want to be you know i don't want to get banned or whatever from amazon i love amazon besides the hair i get it i get everything from amazon you know so I did that thinking I was doing the right thing and here they go taking my reviews down. And you wrongfully took a review down and because the other one I actually purchased with my own coin. I didn't say that one was sent to me, but I guess because I posted those reviews on the same day, which I would never do again. I would never post two hair reviews from for Amazon on the same day. I'm gonna post one give it some time and then you know post another because that right there got me hot y'all i take pride in reviewing my items you know even if it's sent to me i take pride in doing my reviews writing my reviews because i don't have to write nothing that take time trying to put pictures up there and a little video so you can see come on and y'all sitting there trying to take my review down like I'm being false to the people. Ooh, I got my eye a little bit. Oh yeah, when I tell y'all, this stuff is gl it is gliding. Do y'all see this? Oh 
Oh yes, baby. Yeah, I gotta start doing this still first. Like even, I just gotta start detangling my hair first before I go straight in and wash y'all. Uh -huh. This is like, yes. This is life right now. But anyway, am I being dramatic or too, you know, Cause I know some of y'all probably like, girl, it's just reviews. But let me tell you something. When you have already agreed to do a review for a company and Amazon decides to take it down and you, you have nothing to give them, girl, that is playing with your coin. You hear me? Because now I had one company that I need to do a review for. I actually haven't done it yet on there because I've been waiting to kind of see what Amazon is going to do. Because see, now I'm worried. Are they going to be flagging all of my hair reviews? You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to start taking down all of my hair reviews that I post. Because y'all don't need y'all playing with me right now. Y'all going to lose me as a customer. You know, if you do that. Because you can't just assume that all my hair reviews are sponsored or company sent. <laughs> but, um, I have a company now. I mean, I got to do a review for them up there. And I was going to... Of course, I'm going to bring the review here, but what they did was they paid half, half of the money, and then, and so they pay for it all. What they do is they put a hold on the other half until you do the review. So, basically, they want to make sure you're going to do what you say you're going to do. So, when you do the review, they release the other half to your PayPal. So, that's why I'm like, I'm going um, y'all need to stop playing. Okay? I need to do that review and I need to screenshot it to these folks, okay? Like, oh, they got me, they got me hot. And then it's like companies are reaching out to me, want me to do reviews, and <sighs> I'm just kind of being slow to respond because now I'm like, I don't want Amazon to to <laughs> You know, I don't want them to start playing with my reviews now because they feel that I'm lying about um, everything I post up there. So, what should I do, y'all? Like, help me, like, you know, kind of tell me if y'all know or y'all got everything. <laughs> I know some of y'all be like, I wouldn't say it then, but the hell was saying, I know. But I'm telling y'all, watch that video, and that's what I get for watching YouTube so much. Dang. I'm sitting there listening to her. And this is what happened to me, you know, I'm trying to do the right thing. <laughs> so it's like, but I do want Amazon to get in contact with me and let me know because I don't want them to be, like I said, I don't want them to be playing with my own um, reviews. Hair reviews, I don't think they'll play with my other reviews, but the hair reviews, definitely, you know, because your sister try. <laughs> I'm trying to come up in this hair influencing game, okay? Don't don't stop me. I ain't bothering nobody. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. My channel is small, okay? It's trying to grow, but don't try to stop what I'm trying to do, okay? Um, people are going to buy hair regardless. They're going to buy bad hair. They're going to buy good hair because I have done it. I have bought bad hair off the strength of... The price was good, okay? Let's be clear. People gonna buy that hair. They gonna buy it whether it's good or bad, honey. How many times have you seen people say they bought something and the hair wasn't, the hair wasn't up to par, okay? So hair is going to be bought, okay? Whether it's good or bad. You know, my little one review ain't gonna, you know, now I know people do take those reviews to heart because I'm one of those people. Now, I, I read reviews and I take that in consideration. But then what I be looking at, I'm gonna be honest, like I mostly be looking at the price. Okay, is the price affordable? Can I, you know, can I swing this price? And if I can, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. You know, it's worth a try because sometimes one person can get something and it's terrible, it's trash, they hate it. But then another person can get it and Oh, it was good for them, you know what I'm saying? Like, it worked out for them. So, I mean, so don't be telling me that my review is just going to stop people from doing whatever, whatever, or, you know. Like, that's what they made it seem like. Oh, you just 
swaying and lying to the people, but I'm not. I was actually being very truthful to the people. So don't be taking my reviews down, you know, because you feel away. I just wish it was another platform where for hair, for upcoming hair influencers, hair influencers, period, to just be on. And I know a lot of them are trying to make their way on the Amazon platform, but Amazon has so many rules um, that they don't want you to do this and do that. And, and it's like, I get it, I get it, I get it. Now, I get it, Amazon, I get it. But at the same time, it should be a platform to allow us to do what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Let the couples reach out to the to the hair influencers or the upcoming hair influencers like myself and do what we gotta do. We trying to build a platform too. Shoot. So it just so y'all am I mean I mean am I being just overly dramatic this morning or what y'all just tell me I don't know. Just tell me you like girls just reviews. But at the same time, it ain't. I take them reviews to heart, okay? You hear me? Even if the company said, I don't care. Take it to heart. Do not play with me in the reviews, okay? <laughs> and I've been, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna keep calling them. Somebody gonna tell me something. Somebody gonna give me some understanding. Because you just can't do that and don't tell me. And then won't even allow me to go redo my own. Uh, Review or won't let me review, won't let me post on the review at all. Come on now, y'all crazy. Nah, Amazon, I like y'all, but y'all really, y'all stopping my shine right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got things to do up there. And here y'all come. Yes, y'all. Let me tell you how. Ooh. Have y'all seen how I have glided through this detangle? First of all, my hair is not that tangle. This is the easiest my hair has been. Look at that shit here, y'all. To detangle out. But I got a little more mayo left. Avocado mayo. But ooh, yes, I'll suggest this to anybody huh? to do this first. I did this with my daughter hair and it made it so much better for me to detangle her hair and I'm like, I'm gonna do that next time I get ready to wash my hair. So the process can be, look at it, y'all. It just, look y'all, glide through. We ain't even running into no bumps. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm gonna let this sit on for about 30 to an hour, like I said. I may not do the um, deep conditioning part, process because I'm gonna let this sit on. I'm probably just gonna put a leave in, put my leave in after I shampoo my hair because I will let this sit for about an hour and then shampoo this out. So I'm not gonna, you know, I ain't gonna take y'all guys. I'm not gonna take you through this process because you are already seen how I wash my hair and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna, after I let this sit on for about 30 minutes to an hour, I'm going to wash this up, shampoo my hair, and then do, like I said, I probably just do leave-in condition. I'm not gonna do the deep conditioning still because I'm gonna let this sit on. But yeah, y'all, yeah, I just wanted to come and detangle my hair out before I get ready to wash it and rent a little bit. Talk about Amazon. I know this, I don't, you know, hopefully what I was trying to say, and I think I hit what I was trying to say. But yeah, you know, y'all give me some feedback on that. I need. I just need to, I'm just trying to figure this thing out because like I say, companies are starting to reach out. They trying to say, hey. Say, hey, mama. But yeah, that's all I want to do. That's all I want to rant about. If y'all have ran into this, let me know. Um, I know I was just talking to Randy, but y'all, I got my hair did take a while I was doing it with y'all, and it was so easy breezy. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments down below. All right.